right. What's going on, guys? This is How I Talk. I'm your yeah. host, Chris Jones. And Tim Jones here. Hey, guys, again, I'm coming from out of space right to your place. I wish you could see me on the podcast. <laughs> hey, I'm like, hey, I'm excited. We're doing part two of a high value man, woman, right? Part two. So I'm really excited about that because we got some wild stuff out this guy that I've been hosting with. I, you, ladies, I'm telling you now, ladies, get your guns ready and get ready to aim. I will hold the target up for you. <laughs> well, if you guys didn't know, I'm the star of the show. So, you know, what I like to do is go right into it, right? So what we've been talking about, again, part two of a high value woman, we're going to piggyback off what we've done in part one. So if you haven't got a chance to check that out, rewind, go back a couple of weeks or a week ago and check out part one. We're just going to piggyback onto that add on, which is part two here. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. And what does it take to be a high value woman? We're going to answer oh, that question for you guys today. We have been answering it. Like he said, you got to go see part one. But part two, this is getting good, ladies. Come on, Chris. <laughs> Start us out with what you Let's, let's get it going. <laughs> all righty. All righty. So what is one of the one other got, traits? Go yeah, ahead. I'm listening. The, the first trait I got, well, it will be the third one overall, would be she's classy. Mm. Classy. Mm, 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 she's classy. Mm. I like, like that. I, I like that one too. I I like a woman that's classy. I don't like one that's trashy. I like classy <laughs> over trashy. So, yep. ladies, you think sometimes the way you look with uh the low cut stuff or high cut uh pants or what it what is it skirts you that that can be trashy looking. That can look like um like 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 uh very, I'm gonna use the word trashy. It doesn't look classy. It would be better if you just dress yourself to look very classy and elegant. I think men prefer that more and better. And you can even do that in jeans. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be uh, skirts or dresses or things like that. It's just how you present yourself. And guess what? However you present yourself is what you're going to get in return. So if you present yourself trashy, you can expect trashy guys coming after you. You can expect trashy men around you. This is what you're going to get. Whatever you put out, that's what you're going to get back. It's called sowing and reaping, baby. That's the way we put it out. What you sow out is what you reap back. So if you don't want a trashy guy, you don't want a sorry guy, you don't want certain things in the man, well, you got to present yourself in a certain way. I I'm telling you. I'm telling you the truth. I know it hurts a little bit, but it's okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now, you're telling me that a woman can't wear what she wants because that's no. what a woman's going to tell you. I should be able to wear what I want. How the dude reacts is on him. I should be able to do what I want, how I want to wear, when I want to wear it. Your response. Yeah, and I and I would agree with that. I say, yes, you can, baby. You can wear what you want, when you want, how you want, however you want. But just remember, that's what you're gonna get. If you if you throwing out cheese, you might get a rat. So don't be complaining when you get a rat <laughs> come up there and want to nibble on the cheese. So hey, that's what you that's what you throw out, baby. That's what you get. So if you want, if you want something better, you gotta throw out something better. All, that's all I'm saying about it. You, yep. you can go on. <laughs> I would say there's consequences to your actions. If you want to do that, feel free. But you need to understand that men are physical creatures. Yep, we physical creatures. What we see, we're attracted to. That's just how it is, right? But I would say this: if you're with a woman and you see her attire, say you take her to church or a nice, a nice spot or meeting with professional people, if you're in a corporate setting or anything like that, and she's wearing something that would be, you know, attire that you guys were going to the club in, that's a red flag. Red flag. Red, red flag. That's, you don't want that. That was trashy, not classy. Yep, yep. <laughs> yeah. And see, not and that's another thing. Women got to know what to wear when. Uh, mm -hmm. You just... You just got to know when you should wear certain things. Now, they're going to say, well, there's sometimes I want to look trashy. I'll say, hey, I feel you on that because sometimes I do myself. I want to look <laughs> trashy. But you know what? <laughs> I do it in the comforts of my home, and I look trashy. <laughs> but you know what? I don't there's even know certain, what to say to that. <laughs> there's, there's certain times you got to realize, hey, I can't be looking trashy in certain places. I got to look classy. And you got to dress for the occasion. And a lot of times, people do not understand dressing for the occasion. 
Right. And it also speaks volumes about your character and your appearance. Appearance is the first thing that a lot of people see. And then obviously the way that you talk and the way that you handle yourself. So appearance is, is very important, right? Uh, yeah. Which leads me into my next one. Your appearance. Yes, classy goes entangled with, with the appearance. But man, value based on your looks is a high value woman, right? Looks is a huge component of a woman. Man, mm. are physical creatures. I said this earlier. Man, look at you from a looks perspective. Okay, okay. I, I hear you. I hear you. I hear what you're saying. But this, ladies, I disagree with. Now, ladies, let me tell you this. I think you should present yourself in the best possible fashion. I do think that. Now, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Unlike my counterpart here, uh, beauty is necessarily can not necessarily outward all the time. It's inward. Matter of fact, you can take a woman that's considered ugly. You can fix her up, dress her up. But if she, it, it, you know, on the outside, you can do all of that and make it pretty. But you can't change the inside. If the inside's ugly, all you're doing is putting lipstick on a pig. You might make it look good, but it's still a pig and it's still ugly. So what I would say, ladies, is have your inside looking beautiful and it'll radiate to your outside. So that's what I would tell you. And if a man just looked clear solely on the outside, I would say he's a shallow guy. You don't want that one. You don't want that one. Because I'm beauty, shallow, it baby. fades. It <laughs> fades. It changes. Guess what? You, you age all those things. You have children. All, everything moves. And we as men, hey, you look at us. We ain't the same as we used to be. Things change. It's just the way it oh, happens. Well, fellas, let me tell you this. See, see mm -hmm. women, let me tell you this because we're speaking on women right now. Women, let's be honest. When, when a man is choosing you, before he even knows the, your inside and the beauty of it, he looks at your, that's the first thing he sees is your looks. Before me, you may see what man will do is she's great. I mean, she has great personality. She just ain't got the looks. Mm -mm -mm. We ain't doing that. Mm -mm. You got to oh. have the looks. Man loves something on, them, on their arms that looks good. Women and that's what I'm love saying. your beauty. But we also love the inside, too. Now, you can have a, a beautiful woman that's a 10 out of 10, but the inside is just terrible. Don't be with that, right? A no. woman that's like that, that is not good for you. Matter of fact, I said that's probably the woman that might be the gold digger, right? She might be looking <laughs> for some money. I'm not saying that's good either. But from a man's perspective, we are physical creatures. What do we look I at? Yes, I agree. We're physical creatures and women need to understand that. So I think they need to have a certain attraction about them and they should right. do their very best, whatever that best is, to right. present themselves in the best possible light. That's all I'm saying. We right on the same thing. And there we go. <laughs> We're talking about the same thing. OK, We're speaking the same language. OK, so we got that, guys. We got classy. We got the appearance. But I'm going to hit you with another one. The health. Right. When I say health, I'm not just talking about the way you eat. I'm talking about do you take care of yourself as far as your weight, too? That's important. Tim, what are your thoughts? I agree. Weight is important because especially dependent on your culture, different cultures have a propensity for certain health issues. And you need to understand what your culture is and in your culture, what are those propensities for certain health issues? And then you need to try to mitigate those the best you can. So that may be a certain diet. There may be certain uh, things that you have to do. So whatever that, that is, it's important, I think, that ladies take care of themselves health-wise. And, of course, the same thing we're telling you, we would tell any guy as well. If you look at our High Value Man series, we, we did mm -hmm. some things on that. We, we look at it a little bit different for the High Value Man. But guess what? It is important to take care of your health. So I would I would agree with that. Yeah. So the way that a woman eats, right, is huge, right? You know, what is, what is she eating? What is she putting in, into her body? Because your body is your temple. But it's also important as far as her working out, too, you know, mm -hmm. her taking care of her body. Because, again, in, appearance is huge. You don't take care of your body. It's, it's not built in the way that a man would find appealing. And, again, most men, you can say, hey, a man would love a, a, a obesity woman. We're going to touch some boundaries, right? It's going to hurt some feelings. But, hey, I know that. You, when you don't take care of your weight and you, you choose to be overweight, you're actually more overweight than a man. I know this hurts, but a man doesn't want a woman that may be overweight, then more overweight than him. Well, That's gonna hurt some feelings. You know what? I, 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 I'm, I'm disagreeing. I'm disagreeing. Ladies, That's I'm fine. Gonna, 
You're going to love me. I know. I'm send talk, send the love how, mail. How send the love mail to me, ladies. Because I'm going to say, because we have this uh, famous uh, singer now. She's big, a heavy set. I don't know who. Not It's not Megan. Megan Stallion is a good size. But not uh, Megan the Stallion. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> who's the other one? She's uh, Lizzo. She's Lizzo. Lizzo. Yeah, Lizzo. You guys know Lizzo. Lizzo is is kind of mm. heavy set. I mean, if you look it up here, she's a healthier woman, and that's okay. But it looks like she may be taking care of herself and presenting herself that she would look attractive to certain men because everybody like different shapes, different sizes. They like different things, and that's okay. I don't. What you like is up to you. What you what you prefer is up to you. But what I'm saying is, ladies, whatever it is, your shape, your size, try to be healthy with it. Try to present it in the best possible light. I'm not saying that if you're yeah, you uh, a larger, that. that look, nobody look. likes you. No, I'm saying they'll like you, baby. You just got to present it right. Just present it well. Look, look. And they'll, hey, they'll love you, baby. That's look, what guys, I'm saying. I, Send me that mail, baby. Send me the email. Look, Say how great. Number, number hey, one, Lizzo, Lizzo is not healthy. One, she's not healthy. Being overweight, how even how you know she's not healthy. healthy. You don't know she's healthy. You don't know what she obesity. Needs. You don't she's know that, that is obesity. You don't know. No, she's not healthy. Uh, just hey, just because number people number two. Oh uh, no, no, I, I disagree, ladies. Ladies, ladies, eat, ladies. Okay, okay. Number two is number. the fact that with with women, it, it's the fact that guys, guys are again are physical creatures. We're gonna look at a woman and look at her physique. Right. Hey, so and if a woman gonna, holds a if, little if extra we weight, be honest, that's just the way they do. Okay, but if we want to be honest, right, we have to be honest in the fact that if a, a woman that's obese is with a woman that's fit, who's going to get more attention? The I woman mean, that has again, the one that is more fit. Preference. And obesity may not look a certain way. And you can be, you can be, uh, you what you, you can consider thin day. or look look thin, and people might say that person's not obese, but mm -hmm. they are. But you got to look at the what, the scales they, and things like that. All I'm saying is the, present yourself well and well, keep let, yourself healthy. Well, let me say this. The hottest women and Some the hottest men. Some people are thick. Some listen, people are listen. thick. Yeah, the hottest women and the hottest man in the world, when they do the top 100 best looking people, are they ever people that are not fit or take care of themselves? Oh, those are, no, those there's are a shallow. Reason they're shallow. They're okay. shallow. Ah, now they're they're shallow. shallow. Look, yeah, that's shallow. Look, no, man, no, my no. age, you guys understand, we're physical. No, that's shallow. How you look is so Some important. people think Donald Trump look good. <laughs> you think I'm... Hey, I've never heard that. He, and look, oh yeah, and look at yeah, how big we that know, we know. There's anomalies. We know there's anomalies. And yeah, there's anomalies. Okay, and, and there's and anomalies. A, yes, and Lizzo is an anomaly. If you say people are so are so you know infatuated by her, really want to be with her. Uh, look but at the, when you look at the girl, when you look on, at girls, girl like, chat. What? She's no. on there too. She's a big girl. And look, Lizzo, they lay like her. They the way she carry herself. Lizzo, Beyonce. Which are we choosing? Lizzo, Beyonce. Lizzo, well, be Megan the Stallion. Lizzo, Megan, as far as appearance. Everybody want Megan the Stallion. Everybody want Beyonce. Everybody wants uh, all the good looking women that are taking care of themselves. And Lizzo, while she may be obese and she's okay with that, I think that she does need to focus on that. Great, you know, great music. But ladies, take care of yourself. Go to the gym. I would say the same thing for a man. Go to the gym. Take care of your physique because women look at you as far as your physique and you taking care of yourself. Okay. Uh, let's go to the next one. She's supportive of your goals. She's yes. supportive of your goals. Hey, but you know what, ladies? You got goals of your own. Ladies, you can have your own goals. But mm -hmm. yet, at the same time, at the same time, listen, like the man needs to support you and what you're doing, you in turn also have to support him. And sometimes we don't want to support them. We want to say, you do your thing, I'll do my thing. But, you know, it's not going to be a strong relationship like that. I'm just telling you. And a man's going to be looking around and saying, hey, would I want this type of woman that's not going to support me? He's not going to want that. He's not going to look for that. He's not going to ask for that. He's not He's not going to even think twice about that. That's just, I'm sorry. That's just the way that is. But what you think, Chris? I mean, yeah, they, they do have to be supportive of your goals. But I do think it's important, man that are supportive as well, right? Because, uh, you know, we talk about women always supporting the man and what he wants to accomplish, but it is important that you do support the woman, you know? That's something I've even had to learn as I've grown too. Be supportive of the woman and her dreams and her goals and her desires. But I think with a woman, it's, uh, you know, her goals, what are the type of goals that she's trying to accomplish as well? 
You know, yeah. can you support that? Do you stand by what those goals are? And how does it affect the dynamic of your family? I think that is mm-hmm. important to answer. And if you guys can answer that question and it doesn't hinder where the family wants to go, the leadership that is going under, then it shouldn't be a problem. But there are people that are combative and say, I'm going to do my thing over here. You do your thing and we'll meet somewhere in the middle and discuss later about how we're going to meet in the middle. Well, that's chaotic, disruptive. I see that being disruptive a lot in the long run. I agree. I see that being disruptive. If you're going to say you go your way, I do my thing, it's going to be disruptive. Um, You know, I can't wait. We need more relationships. Ladies, we we promise you we're going to bring more relationships on there. (laughs) And guess what? You're going to hear their perspective. Bring some women on here. Let them talk. We just let them talk. Yeah, let them talk. So, yeah, send in your notes and how much you like what I'm saying. Send it in. Keep going. (laughs) Keep going. And then the next one that we have is able to cook and clean. Oh, ladies. No, ladies, I'm jumping off my seat, ladies. No, he didn't say cook and clean. I'm against it, ladies. Clean. I'm against it. <laughs> ladies, when, hey, ladies, if you're out there listening, I'm not saying you have to cook and clean. I know what he's saying, but I'm telling you, you send me your love note right now. I'm telling you, you don't have to cook and clean. You know why? You know why, ladies, unlike him, I'm going to be a man that's going to make it where you have your own personal Chef and your own personal, oh uh, my god, someone to come and clean the house for you, so you don't have to cook and clean. And as a matter of fact, ladies, I'm gonna be another man that I might do some cooking and cleaning for you. Now, listen, I'm different than him, ladies. You don't have first to first of all, clean. ladies. Let me tell you something right now this man don't even know how to cook. That's the funny thing about <laughs> it. Well, I remember last time this man has cooked, <laughs> that's honest. right, ladies. In other words, ladies, I'll take you out. I'm not like him. I'll spend I'm money healthy. on you. <laughs> See, I'll take you out and we'll go to healthy restaurants, get sandwiches and avocado. <laughs> and yeah, of course you're going to say sandwiches, yeah. <laughs> and avocado and salads, <laughs> ladies. And guess what? Ooh, we have wait. a little steak on the side. Oh, okay. Uh, some quinoa? Okay. Yeah, okay. and some kiwi, too. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> so, ladies, yeah. you, you hear? Send the notes because what I'm saying is you don't have to cook and clean. I'm not saying that's a requirement. He's saying that's a requirement. That's no requirement of mine to be a high value woman, but you can't be dirty now. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. You just can't be dirty. But other than wait, that, wait. we get to- Wait a minute. You're saying that they don't have to cook. I'm it saying they don't. You they don't get a home cooked meal. I would prefer one. I would like one. But that's not good. <laughs> That's you not would be <laughs> I would like one. Yes, I would like for us to figure out some times when we can have cooking in the house. But you know, ladies, it's not going to be a major requirement of mine. You know, long, long, as long as you ain't nasty. Nasty. I don't like nasty now, ladies. But as long as you're not nasty, but as you can, if you can, you know, maybe scramble some eggs every now and then. And if you can't, I, no. I guess what? If you can boil them. <laughs> And it's only 10 minutes to ball after the water starts to ball. Drop them in 10 minutes. I just gave you a tip. Okay. Uh, well, let me be realistic with you ladies, right? A man may not be able to take you out all the time, right? They're trying to build their empire. And, uh, empire. and we're cooking you and might cleaning. You guys right are trying man. to build an empire together. Let's say that. But when you guys are together and you, he's, you know, dating you, he does want to see that you do take care of yourself or your home is taken care of. Let's say that he comes over to your place. You got clothes all over the ground, dishes piled high in the scene, you know, nothing is clean, nothing is in order. That's a red flag for me. Red flag. That's there, a red, red flag. Ding, ding, ding. Red flag. I come over and nasty. everything is takeout. Everything you got, oh, yeah, I just went out to eat. You know, all I do is go out to eat. Ding, ding, ding. Red flag. Wait a minute. So you don't cook for yourself? You don't try to cook at all? Because then you got to think house. about family. Yeah, and a cat in the house. Red flag. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> and a cat in the house, right? Yeah. <laughs> So wait a minute, nothing is clean in here. And when we have, what about when we start having kids and stuff? You gonna start cooking then? You don't cook now, yeah. but I guess when you have kids, you are gonna start cooking. You are gonna flip the script? Yeah, that, that's a good one. Now, ladies, I think what he's trying to say: don't beat him up too bad. Don't beat him up too bad. But what I'm, I'm trying truthful. to help him out is that he's trying to say is that you would know how to cook. Now, there's a difference between knowing how to cook and choosing not to cook. So, ladies, if you choose not to cook, I'm okay with that. As long as you know how to cook, then there we go. So, I'm what I'm saying, ladies, I, what I'm saying, ladies, uh, 
if you know how to cook, that's <laughs> always a plus coming to the table. If you don't know how to cook, that's not such a big plus on the table. But and you know what? It's not always a requirement for guys, but apparently this guy here, you can shoot him down as much as you want, fire at him as much as you want. I hold fire him up me. as a Come target. Come at me. I'm ready. I'll, look, get it, look let me clarify get what it. I'm saying here. The ability to cook is helpful. Oh, so if you have the ability now. to cook. He's backing up now. He's no, 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 no. <laughs> and when, uh, what I would say is also if you choose – to eat out all the time and not cook, that's a red flag. Because you should want to cook because it's healthier. Mm, As a single one, you're choosing to always go out to eat. That stuff is not healthy for you. So I'm, again, mm. I'm looking at that saying, are you taking care of yourself? Oh, I always go out to eat grab food. That's not healthy. That's one of the, a huge cause for obesity. A very huge uh -huh. cause for now, I'm not saying you got to cook either all the time. That's not what I'm requiring from a female either. But if you know how to cook, you have the ability, and you actually enjoy cooking, that is a great trait that men like. And this coming from the guy who goes to Popeye's for their 99 cent value meal. I don't work okay, out. You I work it. out. I work I'm out. Not. I'm strong. I work get, out. He I goes to get that. You don't get. You don't eat that Popeye's anymore. I'm pescatarian anymore. right now. Actually, I've been eating a lot of fish. Uh, you know, a lot of vegetables, guys. So. I'm very big on health. I love working. I've been doing it for a decade now. I've been consistent. So this is why it's so, it's so huge for you, ladies. You should be the same way. Want to eat healthy. Want to work out and be at the gym because it makes you feel better and look better. Case closed. I didn't know you started eating pest. <laughs> Pestitarian, you said? Look, guy, you, you know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> I said quinoa. He said kiwi. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, guys, you know, <laughs> what's that? Kiwi! <laughs> uh, but hey, guys, you know, I, I got one more, and then we're going to let you guys go, because guess what? We got part three. We can't give you all the jewels in one city. Not all in one city. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to leave you with this last one, and uh, I know I hurt some feelings. It's okay. Like he said, shoot him shoot, down. Shoot him shoot down, him but down. you can send him all the love notes. But guess what? He an old man. He don't know nothing. Oh, no. Don't worry about they gonna, it. They're going to write you and say, we like that veteran in there. That veteran. <laughs> oh, yeah. He knows how to treat a woman. I'm like, yes, ladies. No, they're going to say they like that senior. <laughs> senior <laughs> citizen. <laughs> Can you say triple A? <laughs> <laughs> Stay with me. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, so let's go to the last one. That is uh, non-combative and non-confrontational. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> ladies, I'm on your side again. Now, this sounds to me, let, let's say, ladies, this sounds to me like he's a weak man, right? That's what it sounds to me like. It sounds like he's he's weak, can't handle stuff. I know that's how you're going to come at it. I know that's how you're going to throw them jabs. I know you're going to say, oh, he weak. Yeah, he non-combative. What did you say? Non-combative and what else? Non-confrontational. Non-confrontational. Oh, no, no, ladies. I ain't, I'm not like that. You see, I'm a veteran in the game. So I'm like, it's okay if you're confrontational. It's okay if you're combative. Let's no, wait, wait, wait. Let me rephrase that. Not all the time. Now, you got to pick and choose. You can't just be fighting me every day, all day. You can't do that now. It may be some things you dislike or you want to discuss. Let's do that. But we can't be, we can't be at it all the time. If you, if you one that likes to fight, <clears throat> uh -uh. some ladies are fighters. They like to fight. Right. But some of them like to fight. And I right. go, no, no. If you want them that like to fight, mm -mm. men ain't going to stay around long. They're going to be ready to back, pack up and move because they're going to say it's, too, it's too, too much drama. I would say if you're dramatic, there are some that are just dramatic. Everything's a problem. Everything's mm. an issue. That's too right. dramatic for me. Uh, and what, what, what I would say what you need is a guy that's calm like me, a guy that's relaxing like me. <laughs> One that says it's all right, like me. They can say, calm down. It'll work out, like me. You see, ladies, if you're combative like that, he won't be able to handle you because he's still all worked up. But see, when you relaxed and you bring peace to the house, like me, that's what you're talking about. He don't know that yet. Y'all, let's listen at him talk, though. Look, well, like me, because he doesn't understand oh. what he's talking about. Look. Non-confrontational, non-combative. What do I mean by that? I, that doesn't mean you can't confront or state your opinion or state something that you find an issue with. 
I don't have a problem with that, but I do agree with what you said earlier, that confrontational can't be every single day, every single week, we have an issue. And also it's about the way that you confront, right? You may disagree about something, but one thing I've learned or I've heard is that the confrontation or the disagreement, I should say, should happen behind closed doors. See, if you want to confront me in front of everybody and put it on public display, that's a red flag. As a woman, I'm not sure if you're going to be high value because, again, you're making a scene for everybody. If you want to start drama. Yeah, exactly. Drama. If you want to start yelling around people, start pointing a finger in your face, that's a problem. Matter of fact, I remember I was um, out downtown and I I saw a couple in line and a a girl was uh, (laughs) talking with her boyfriend and they got into it. Long story short, she ends up just yelling at this dude, cursing this dude out in front of everybody. Everybody looking at this. And, and then the, the question is, how does the dude respond to this situation? I don't know why she was yelling. There could be a lot of different factors, but I don't think yelling, pointing fingers, putting your hand on his head and like pushing his head and stuff like that. I don't think that's ever, ever right. Doing things wow. like that, I don't think it's ever right. Hey, guess what? This, this points me to, you know what, ladies, there is a double standard, though. There is a double standard. Um, we, we say we want equal rights. We say we want things to be equal. But in actuality, I don't think ladies do because it's not equal when that lady was punching him in the head or poking him in the head. Mm -hmm. No one would come to this guy's rescue. No Mm -hmm. one says, hey, you shouldn't do that. But if that guy did that to that woman, oh, my goodness, it would be it would be chaos. People Mm -hmm. would say this guy is so evil. He's so bad. See, but you can't have it where. You know, you want to say, I want equal rights, but not in certain cases. Either we're equal rights or we're not. But we need to take this up on the show. Say, hey, should we have equal rights between men and women? I do think there's certain things equal rights, but I don't think you really want equal rights. I don't think we, I don't think our roles promote equal rights. But hey, that's a, that's another show. I would love to get my ideas and, and everything and share them with you. But so far, so good. Man, I like what we've been putting out. And I'm looking forward to your comments, your feedback, and everything you have to say. I know, but, I know you don't like what he said. So what, what what happened is with this story is obviously this happened in public, right? But again, what you alluded to earlier is that when that happens, what does a man do in response? He can't put his hands on her. He can't yell at her because people will come to her defense. And um, you know, when but she you can yell and hit him. She can yell and, and things okay. like that. Well, it's because the man is stronger. He should be able to handle that, but it's still not right. And I think that when you're confronting or you have disagreements with people, it's about how you do it. As a high value woman, it's always about how do you respond to things and how do you, you know, categorize those things? Because I understand women are more emotional based, right? You know what? You have your emotions in check better. Well, how about yeah? And you know what? A woman would say. A woman would say, "Well, he's a wuss, or he 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 can't take it." If they're doing that to him, I mean, really think about that. Is he supposed to take that? Is that something that's supposed to be able to to do? That's not really the way you're supposed to treat people in general. And if if someone was doing that to a woman, you would say that's not right. Well, guess what? If they're doing it to a man, a woman doing it to a man, it's not right either. It's just not right, period. No matter which way it goes. You shouldn't be hitting each other. Shouldn't put your hands on each other. That's both wrong shouldn't be cussing each other, calling each other names. That's wrong. Shouldn't be doing any of that, no matter which way it go, male or female, well, either way. Well, to touch on that, see, a beta male will probably let that happen, right? And you'll, you'll learn throughout life. But a person that at least keeps letting that happen is probably going to be beta. But I would say like an alpha or a high value man, no, he wouldn't want to deal with that stuff immediately. From jump, if you're going to be like that, he's out. He's not even yeah. going to think twice about why, because his options are plentiful. He ain't even worried about you if you're going to be like that. I ain't got to deal with that. I'd rather not deal with that. I can right. go find me something else that can, you know, be uh, motherly, that can have class, that can have a great appearance, and then also can have a, a real discussion when things don't always go as planned. So yeah, understand if you're high value, I'm sure as a woman, you want somebody who's also high value, but know that they're not going to be putting up with some of that crap. Oh. Oh, ladies, I would like send the mail, send the hate mail, ladies. Send it on. I can't <laughs> he wait agrees. to he read just ain't it. Saying it. <laughs> he agrees. I can't well, wait to read hey. it. Yep. Well, hey, this is uh part two, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We got part three coming up soon. Um, again, 
this is a podcast we do every week. I hope you guys enjoy it. Tim, you got anything else to say? No, I'm saying I'm looking forward to the comments because I'm in space. I'm coming to your place. I can't wait to hear what you got to say. Yep. Drop your comments. Subscribe. We definitely uh, enjoy you guys tuning in and we'll see you next week.